it's really important to understand that it's not about going digital for digital's sake. It's about having a business strategy that's enabled in a digital world. What that means is whatever the organization's values are should still be at the core of what that organization is about. So our starting point is, what is the business strategy? Secondly, how do I increase my overall knowledge and skill sets within the organization? And then thirdly, how do I, in practice, apply those technologies to drive positive benefit going forward? Hello, I'm Greg Unsworth, the Digital Business Leader for PwC Singapore. Today, what we want to explore is what are some of the challenges we see, but also what are the opportunities we see for organizations to embrace change for the better in a digital world? I think that when we look at the roadblocks or the challenges, it does start with leadership buying from the top quite often, because it's one thing to say that we want to go on a journey to enable our organization to embrace digital technologies and, and new digital business models. It's another thing to put investment dollars behind it around investing in the, the digital upskilling of the workforce that's required to do that. There's one view that this is about the technology, but it goes much more holistically like that, about that for organizations. It's about leadership, it's about commitment, it's about culture. You can't just recruit your way to do digital success. You need to take your entire workforce along for the journey. And importantly, it's also about having the right controls, governance. I think when we look at emerging technology versus uh, technology that's currently being used, it's really important to understand the implications of what could go wrong in that environment and making sure there's the right controls in place to effectively hit reset if it does go wrong. Having that confidence built in through digital trust, it enables organizations to move ahead with confidence, knowing that they've got the risks, not completely taken out of the equation, but well managed. One of the issues we see is that risk management functions, putting in place good governance controls, has often seen as something that stifles innovation. I think the key for many organizations is looking at building in digital trust at the outset as being an enabler for innovation. And at the moment, many organizations aren't set up well for doing that. They'll tend to have separate digital units. They'll have separate risk management functions. If you look at um, the knowledge, even throughout organizations, um, it, it, it's, it's often built into individual specific digital units or specialists, but not embraced throughout the whole organization. The key is in embedding it all together. The status quo for any organization where they're not confident is just not to move ahead. With so much change happening and the impact of technology being so pervasive, the option of going digital really isn't an option anymore. Thank you for tuning into this edition of the Let's Get Real series. I do hope you've enjoyed the insights we've shared with you around digital transformation, how to manage some of the risks, and, and how to move forward with your digital strategies. If you have further questions, feel free to reach out with us. In the meantime, do give us the thumbs up sign if you liked what you heard today and do subscribe. Thank you.